We've been extensively using and testing a bunch of new Copilot Plus PC laptops over the past two months, all packing the new Snapdragon X Elite chips from our sponsor Snapdragon, and we're finally ready to give our thoughts on what this chip means for the laptop industry, as well as our top pick out of the laptops with Snapdragon X Elite that we tested. But before I jump into all of that, I wanna give you guys some important context into why this is such a big deal for the laptop industry. We've been testing and comparing laptops for almost a full decade on YouTube, like these old side-by-side -side MacBook comparison videos we made back when we worked for Apple Insight. But the worst part about it was when Apple redesigned their MacBooks to make them thinner while the Intel chips kept getting hotter and hotter and less reliable. But everything changed when Apple ditched Intel and replaced their chips with their very own M1 chip which changed MacBooks forever. And ever since that moment, I've been patiently waiting for the day that this would finally happen to the Windows laptop market so more people can enjoy the benefits of snappy, efficient and long-lasting laptops again. And that is exactly what just happened in 2024 with a straight-up revolution in laptop computing thanks to Windows on Snapdragon with the new X Elite and X Plus chips. And after a month of testing these new chips, I can say for certain that these chips have completely changed the Windows laptop experience in multiple ways. For example, our very first impression was just how quick and snappy the Snapdragon X Elite laptops would run. Windows booted up quicker, apps would install more quickly, and without spinning up the fans like what used to happen on Intel laptops, which was kind of hilarious since you're just installing an app. Browsing the web feels so much snappier now, as well as giving us really impressive benchmark scores in the speedometer web browsing benchmarks neck and neck with Apple's M3 MacBooks. And then looking at multi core CPU performance, the X Elite destroyed the M3 MacBook Air in Geekbench 6, and especially in Cinebench 2024's more realistic CPU test, and it even beat it out in our Lightroom photo editing export. But the most impressive part was that the Surface Laptop 7 with Snapdragon X Elite held up incredibly well in terms of battery life, barely being behind the M3 MacBook Air despite the faster performance, the much nicer and larger 14 inch display and the better speakers. This was shocking to us because Intel powered laptops used to completely die before our testing was finished forcing us to plug in just to finish out comparison videos. And that is exactly what happened when we compared the Surface Laptop 6 with the fastest and most powerful Intel Meteor Lake chip to the Surface Laptop 7 with the Snapdragon X Elite. Not only was the Snapdragon X Elite powered laptop $400 less expensive while beating the Intel laptop in every CPU based task, but it was left with 39% battery life when the Intel laptop completely shut off, giving us a black screen. That right there is a Windows laptop revolution in itself, and it all comes down to the X Elite chip. Now, a lot of people would argue that we should be comparing the X Elite to the M3 Pro, and yes, we did, but a huge point I wanna make is that the new Snapdragon X series chips deliver revolutionary performance and battery life that is better than Intel's premium laptops and at a great price. Just look at how the specs compare. You can get the new Asus VivoBook S15 for only $1,300 with 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage, while the equivalent 15 inch M3 MacBook Air costs $1,900. So yes, that's why we're comparing it to the regular M3 models. And looking at the M3 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro, you've gotta pay $2,200 for the matching one terabyte SSD model, and the Snapdragon X Elite was still keeping up in CPU-based tasks. So the fact that you can get a Snapdragon X Elite laptop for as low as $1,200 to $1,300 is a game changer for people who just want a snappy, powerful, and efficient laptop with great battery life, honestly saving some laptops like the Dell XPS 13, which used to be overpriced and disappointing due to the Intel chips, but now it's actually a great value for $1,300 with the X Elite chip. Now in terms of graphics, there are over 1,200 PC games that run well enough for casual gaming, especially thanks to the new automatic super resolution feature, which is part of a whole suite of 
new Copilot Plus PC features like co-creator, live captions, Windows Studio effects, and more. App compatibility was also really impressive, running basically every app that the common user would use, with nearly 90% of the total app minutes users spend in apps today having native ARM versions, and performance while emulating apps was surprisingly snappy as well, thanks to Microsoft's Prism technology on Snapdragon X Elite being as efficient as Rosetta 2 while running on this more powerful CPU. So what I can say for sure is that the new Snapdragon X series processors have finally brought a revolution to the Windows laptop space. And the most exciting part of it all is that these Snapdragon laptops will only get better and better from this point on. And finally, finishing off with my favorite Snapdragon X Elite machine that we've tested, it's by far the Microsoft Surface Laptop 7 with its clean design, including its amazing trackpad, powerful speakers, and a beautiful display while performing very well on battery power thanks to the X Elite chip, all for only $1,400, which is just crazy to think about. So with that said, hopefully you enjoyed this review. And once again, thank you to Snapdragon for sponsoring the video and we'll see you in the next one.